So let's go ahead and go through 5 is what percent of 60? So the last one that you will be having to deal with in this class is going to be dealing, um, there's pretty much three examples. There's three missing parts. We could have a missing part, a missing whole, or a missing um, percentage part, which obviously you guys could see that we do not know what the percent is. So if we have a part over a whole is equal to percentage part over 100%, we're obviously trying to figure out what is my percentage that makes the part of 5 is what percent of 60. So 5 is going to be my part, 60 will be my whole, and we'll just solve for my percentage part, which I'll just leave as p, because now I'm kind of getting a little bit quicker and I'm just using um, p for my representation. So therefore, we're going to want to solve for our percentage. So I do 60 times p. percent. Now, rather than dividing by our percentage, we want our answer to be in a percentage, right? So we're going to leave that percent there. I'm not going to divide by the percent. I'm going to leave that as p percent, because that's what I'm solving for. So then I just divide by 60. Now, obviously, you could also get rid of your percents, right? right? And then just do them as decimals and then convert it to a percent later. So maybe let's look at it that way. If I rewrote these, then I'd have 0.6 is equal to our 0.6p is equal to 5. And basically what we're trying to do is determine um, how are we going to get to 0.6 into um, 5. So we'd have to divide into them, right? So to convert that over, that's the same thing as 6 divides into 50 which obviously, ladies and gentlemen, is the same thing which we had over there, right? Um, no, what am I doing? What did I mess up here? That's the same. 60 into 500%. Yeah, OK. So to figure this out, um, 6 does not go into 50, but 6 does go into there. Does go into 5, but goes in there 8 times. 8 times 6 is going to be? Six is not going to two, so we have point zero. All I did, so shh, you can just divide out the zeros, right? So basically, what this is is fifty divided by six. Or if you just converted this from instead of instead of using this as decimal, instead of using this as percentages, you could also divide by 100 and write them as decimals. So this would be the exact same thing as this equation. 60 p percent equals 500. If you just divided by 100 on both sides, you would have 0.6 is equal to 50. Right? Yeah. It doesn't really matter which way you look at it. If I wanted to just divide out by a, um, when I divide 500, when I divide 500 by 60, the zeros automatically, and all I'm doing is dividing 6 into 50. So that's why I divided 6 into 50, which 6 does go into 50, goes in there 8 times. 8 times 6 is 48, subtract 2. 6 is not going to 2, so there's my decimal point. Once I create my decimal point, I bring down a 0. 6 goes into 23 times. So therefore, P percent is going to be 8 point, or P is going to equal to 8.3 percent. Now, does that look like that's roughly 8.3 is out of 100, like 5 is a 60? Does that look like that could roughly be about the same yes. ratio proportions? Yes. yes, exactly. Yeah. 